Today was a travel day for Nate and me. Now traveling through Afghanistan isn't easy, but we were able to catch a flight down to Kandahar Airfield, which is in uh, southern Afghanistan. Um, and again, we imagine that being here in southern Afghanistan is going to be quite a bit different than regional command capital. Uh, down here is where the troop buildup's happening. Down here is where the major offensive against the Taliban is going on. So we do imagine a uh, kind of a different story here than what you saw in RC capital. Um, when we first got here, we had a little bit of trouble finding a place to uh, get some decent enough internet where we can upload our daily blogs and vlogs. But um, big thanks to the 451st public affairs folks, Air Force public affairs folks, who uh, hooked us up with uh, their little abode here and uh, got us some internet. Again, internet and sleep is about the only things that Nate and I truly require on this 30-day journey. Um, also, I want to thank the more than 800 people who participate in this week's poll. Um, every time we move to a new regional command, we'll be updating that weekly poll, so please look for that. Um, this week's poll question was a controversial topic. It involves the use of body armor. Uh, sir, every week on, the, our, on our site we have a weekly poll where we ask people just general questions about coin and counterinsurgency and then we uh, find a subject matter expert like you to, to, to discuss the, uh, the right answer. So this week's weekly poll is if you were to attend a shura with village elders to talk about local hardships and needs, would you wear body armor? And sir, do you? It, it depends on the environment. Um, and how the meeting's been set on up. But generally, what we coach here, because we, we uh, role play a village shora, and when we show our folks coming in, in body armor as they walk on into the village and as they come into the shore, but then we show them taking the, the body armor off and sitting down with the village elders without their body armor, okay? And that's a sign of respect because if, uh, according to their customs, we're entering their house, their village, they're obligated to protect us. But, you know, it depends upon the situation. It really does. It depends upon why you're having that shore. It depends on what you're trying to do, how well you know them, how well they trust you. But generally speaking, if you're going to engage with them, you have to trust them and you have to demonstrate that trust and removing body armor is a key way to do that, absolutely. Now, unfortunately, I don't have time to show you all the video I shoot and through all the experiences that we have. Uh, there's just not enough time in the day to cut it up and get it up on the web. Um, but right now, with this being a travel day, I want to take this opportunity to kind of reflect on what we saw in RC Capital. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you some of the people I didn't have a chance to showcase in the previous vlogs as uh, well as some interesting outtakes. All right, we just arrived at Camp Julian and uh, we took MoveCon, which is movement control. And if it wasn't for folks like these guys right here, there's no way you can get around the city of Kabul. Um, they know what they're doing, they know their stuff, and they know the city. As you'll see in the video, um, it's not easy getting around. You got all kinds of traffic circles and all kinds of pedestrians walking through and their job is to get us safely through the city. And if you can just introduce yourself and where you're from. I'm Master Corporal Missy Whitegrass. I'm from um, 18th Air Defense Regiment, Royal Canadian Artillery in uh, Canada, Lethbridge, Alberta. Is there anything you want to say to your uh, family back home? Uh, hi, Mom. Hi, Desi. Hi, my regiment. <laughs> <laughs> and we have? I'm uh, PFC Holloway. I'm originally from Heidelberg, Germany, and I'm stationed in Heidelberg, Germany with uh, 5th Corps. Um, not much else to say. I just want to say hi to uh, my wife Stephanie and uh, my mom and dad. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for the ride. Appreciate what you guys do. You're Thank welcome. you. And cut. Um, I don't think I will. I know I will because it's really, really good. That is so good. This is exactly what a young growing airman needs for a strenuous day. 
Well, we just finished up lunch and uh, we're getting settled into our room here. Uh, it's not bad. It's a hard shelter. That's always a plus. And in a little while, we're going to meet up with some of the folks from the counterinsurgency training school and uh, chat with them for a little while. Let me show you our sweet establishment. I guess Nate's been working hard already. <laughs> we just wrapped up our interview with uh, Mohammed Manajat, and it was an eye-opening experience, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy the perspective from two young Afghan college students. And right now, they are setting up the table for some lunch. As you can see, this is some wonderful Afghan food. If you ever find some Afghan food, grab it up because it tastes great. That's what I'm about to do right now. Tell me a little bit about that meal. This meal is the same as all meals in Afghanistan. It is absolutely delicious. It makes your body feel good because it feels healthy and fresh and just good. I've never turned on a chance to eat Afghan food. Um, but I don't see anything uh, baked in grease or fried. Are you still okay with that? At first it was like, where's the, where's the lard and the, and the deep fried rice and the deep fried cookies and all that? But, you know, after, after a few meals you get used to healthy food. It's amazing. And it's delicious. Okay. Now that's it for... Dude, come on. Seriously, I'm killing hard drive space. This is what I have to deal with. This. All right. That's it for today. Tomorrow, Nate and I are going to poke around the base and see if we can find some interesting people that you'll have the chance to meet right here, as well as maybe get into some other areas in southern Afghanistan and show you some other bases. Join us tomorrow as we continue 30 days through Afghanistan.